Hi there, my name is Chris Winter, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you some of the best cameras for under $500, so hopefully I can help you figure out which camera might be right for you, and which camera is best for your budget. And if you haven't heard yet, I'm currently doing a massive camera giveaway to one lucky subscriber. You can win either a Canon M50, T7, or Nikon D3500, and a lens of your choice from my epic lens list, which you can see in the description box below under this video. All you need to do to enter is leave a comment on this video and tell me which camera and lens from the list you wanna win. But anyway, let's now take a look at some of these cameras and figure out which one might be right for you. So today's question says, hey Chris, I've been using my Canon G7X for the last few years for my video and photography, but want a camera that I can change lenses on. My budget is strictly only $500 though. What cameras would you recommend? Thanks. Well, that's really cool. I love the G7X and I actually used that for a long time uh, to record some vlogs. I think it's a really good camera. But you're right, it can be a little bit restricting because it is a, uh, a camera with a lens built into it, although it is a zoom lens. So maybe what you'll be looking at is something like an interchangeable lens camera, like a DSLR or a mirrorless camera. So let's take a look at some of these cameras and figure out which one might be right for you. So seeing as your budget is $500, we're probably gonna be looking at either secondhand cameras, refurbished cameras, or newer budget-friendly cameras which are meant for beginners. And I think that's gonna be great for you as well because uh, you are a beginner, not used to using a DSLR, a lot of these cameras are specifically made so they're a little bit easier to learn and then you can step up to kind of the manual settings as well. Now I've got a number of different cameras from Canon, Sony, Panasonic and I've also got a GoPro here but you want an interchangeable lens camera so we'll move that one out. Uh, the very first camera that I'd probably look at into, uh, especially if you want to save a little bit of money, is a second-hand camera, something like the Canon 1300D or Canon T6. Now if you're in America, it's going to be called the Canon T6 and this is a fantastic beginner camera uh, for a few different reasons. Firstly, it's got all of the, uh, the manual settings as well, so once you do need to step up, you really can use them. But it's also got the creative settings as well, which can be really nice uh, if you're just a beginner and you want to learn exactly how to, uh, you know, take a shot of a portrait or for sports, you've got all these settings right here. It does work really quite well. Now, it doesn't have the greatest video features, which is something that might be a little bit difficult for you because you've come from a G7X, which is actually quite a good video camera. But for photography, the 1300D or T6 is going to be really quite good. You can pick these up pretty cheap these days because there is a newer model, the Canon T7, and we'll talk about that one in a little bit. On the cheaper side of Nikon, you could also look at something like the Nikon D3300, the Nikon D3100, these are older cameras now. I've got the Nikon D3400 and the D3100 here. Both of these are really quite similar. The D3100 is a little bit older now. I mean, this is a five-year-old camera at least, but it can still take some pretty good photos. The great thing about this and great thing about all DSLRs is that mainly the, uh, the body themselves don't make a huge difference it's the lenses that you put on on the front of it. So you could pick up this Nikon D3100 for around about $150 to $200 at your local second hand shop and put on a nicer lens like a 35 millimeter f1.8 or a 50 millimeter f1.8 and you've got yourself a really good beginner camera that can take some great shots. The D3100 is granted a little bit older, so I'd probably look at something like the D3400. This was one of the most popular DSLRs for beginners a few years ago, or actually just, I think it was last year or the year before, and it still is a very solid camera. It's got a great burst rate, so you can actually use it for sports and things like that as well. And overall, it's a great little camera from Nikon. Now, Canon also have come out with a couple of new cameras. Uh, we've got the 4000D and the 2000D. Uh, the 2000D in America is called the Canon T7, and it is the successor to the Canon T6, which we were talking about before. Both of these cameras are pretty basic. They don't have a lot of video features. Autofocus in video is not great, pretty much non-existent, but they are pretty good for beginners because they really do have those kind of basic features, allowing you to kind of progress and get uh, higher and higher. Uh, the 4000D, the way that they've saved some money is that they've got a plastic mount right here. There's a lot of plastic on this camera, but it is still relatively solid. You've got a smaller LCD screen on the 4000D, whereas on the Canon 2000D or T7, you've got a larger LCD screen, which can be really quite good. Generally though, if you can, I would spend a little bit more than 500. I think it's around about 550, depending on where you buy it, and I would get this camera here the Canon 200D or Canon SL2. So in Europe and Australia, it's gonna be the 200D. In America, it's gonna be the SL2. And this is by far the most popular beginner's camera 
on the market. It's a fantastic camera for a few different reasons. You really are getting an upgrade from these other cameras because you're getting a flip out screen, which means you can see yourself when you're recording videos or taking photos. You can move the screen up and down so you can actually see it from different angles. It's got brilliant autofocus in video uh, because it does have a thing called dual pixel autofocus, which works really, really well. Uh, and it's just overall a better camera. In fact, I'd probably recommend spending an extra 50 bucks or so and getting the Canon SL2. It really is a great little camera, highly worth the money. Now you could also possibly uh, find something like a used Canon 60D or Canon 70D. I've got a Canon 70D right here, which I bought for 550 Australian dollars uh, about a year ago. In American dollars, that's probably around about $475. $450, and if you can buy it used, I'd highly recommend this camera. I've actually used a Canon 70D for about four years now, and it's such a workhorse. You're getting a bigger body, you're getting that flip out screen, it's just a bit more of a professional body, and if you can pick one of these up, I'd probably get this over any of these other cameras uh, that's on my table right now. The 70D is a fantastic camera, and it's nearly as good as its bigger brother, the 80D. Uh, but uh, just doesn't have a headphone jack. So uh, 70D, great if you can pick it up in good quality used. Check out Amazon's used page. Uh, you can find a lot of good bargains over there. You could also look at something like the Panasonic GM1. This is gonna be a lot cheaper. Uh, hard to find though because the GM1 is discontinued, but I've been using this camera for a long time and I love it. Uh, it's a very, very small camera. You can see the size of it right here but it does have interchangeable lenses. You can use all of the Panasonic and Olympus lenses. It uses a micro four thirds system. Really fantastic camera, one of my favorites. If you can't find the GM1, try and find the GM5 or the GF7 or GF8. Uh, they are a little bit hard to find, but they're great little cameras and one of my favorite systems to use. So these were a couple of the cameras and hopefully I was able to help you even just a little bit. And guys, if you haven't seen it yet, definitely also make sure to check out my brand new list the best cameras for beginners. I go through some of the cameras that would be best for you. So if you wanna check that out, I'll put a link in the description box below this video. You can take a look. So that's it for me guys. Hope you're having a fantastic day and enjoy uh, shooting. See you in the next video, bye. Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a fantastic day and you've been able to take some awesome photos lately. Now I just wanna make a very quick video because I've got a huge announcement. To celebrate reaching 35 million views here on YouTube, I'm gonna be doing a huge camera giveaway. To one lucky subscriber, I'm gonna be giving away either a Canon M50, the brand new Canon 2000D or T7, or the brand new Nikon D3500. As a massive bonus, I'm also gonna be giving away a lens of your choice from my Epic Lens list. You can see which lenses you'll get to choose from in the link in the description box below. Now I'll be adding new lenses every day, every few days, so make sure to check back regularly to see which lenses are in the list. So entering is super simple. All you need to do is subscribe to this channel, obviously, and make sure to leave a comment under my videos on which camera and lens from the list that you wanna win. Now guys, make sure to leave lots of likes and comments on my upcoming videos as well, because I'm gonna be also having a bonus giveaway to the most active subscriber. Now, I haven't done a giveaway this year, but this is my fifth camera I've given away recently after Shazam from England won a Canon 77D, Gary from Australia won a Canon 80D, Emma from California won a Canon T6, and recently I even sent a Canon SL2 all the way to Mexico. Honestly guys, these giveaways are just a little way for me to thank you uh, for continually supporting my channel. I really, really do appreciate it. All the likes, all the comments, they do mean the world to me. So make sure to leave lots of likes and comments on my upcoming videos. I hope you all have a fantastic day. It's gonna be heaps of content coming out on my channel, and I'll see you all soon. Have a great day, bye.